today we're going to work on conversions, specifically capacity. All right, so we're going to look at these two uh, cup to fluid ounces and pints to cups. This is a larger unit moving to a smaller unit, a larger unit moving to a smaller unit. So every time we go from larger to smaller, we're going to multiply. Let's look at this example, 15 cups equals blank ounces. Now notice that this is the abbreviation for ounce, okay, and do not get confused with regular ounces for weight. This is fluid ounces like liquids, okay? All right, so 15 cups. We're going to look at cups to fluid ounces. We know that there are eight fluid ounces in one cup. So we're going to multiply 15 times 8, all right? 15 times 8. And once you multiply, put your answer back in the blank, and you have 120 fluid ounces. 15 cups equals 120 fluid ounces. All right, so on this next example, 23 pints equals how many cups? So look at your chart and pints to cups. We know that in one pint there are two cups, all right? So we know we're multiplying 23 times 2. Multiply and get 46 cups. All right, so let's look at this one. Two and a half cups equals blank ounces. So we're going from cups to ounces. So you know that two and one half is the same as 2.5, and you're multiplying that times eight, okay? So multiply times eight, and don't forget to move your decimal over. Two and a half cups equals 20 ounces. Now you probably could do this one because it's a simple one mentally. You probably could say, well, two times eight is 16, and then I know that half of eight is four. Okay, so you can, you can do some of these simple ones mentally. All right, so this last example is 3.5 pints to cups. So here is the conversion pints to cups. We know that there are two cups in every pint. So you're going to multiply because the larger to smaller conversion. You're taking your 3.5 and you're multiplying times the conversion of 2. So multiply. Don't forget your decimal movement and 3.5 pints equals seven cups. All right, so with these measurement conversions, remember when you're moving from larger to smaller, always multiply.